Welcome to Pravah, a Brahat and Chitti Media collaboration. Namaste, my name is Nivedata. Today we begin an exploration into the tradition of the Saptamatrikas, the mother-like goddesses who hold great relevance in both worship and Indian sculptural art. From the narratives across the Puranas, Tantra Shastras, Yoga and folk cultures, one derives a multifaceted understanding of the nature and functions of the Saptamatrikas. At the center lies the narrative of evolving consciousness. According to the Puranas and the Devi Mahatmya, the seven mother goddesses emerge as shaktis from their male counterparts as ferocious aids in divine battles. In the Devi Mahatmya, they emerge to aid Mahadevi in her battle against the demons Shumbha and Nishumbha. While according to another popular legend, this happens when Shiva is battling the dreadful Andhakasura. The Matrikas are the inherent shaktis of these devatas, yet remain independently powerful. Brahmani from Brahma, Vaishnavi from Vishnu, Maheshwari from Maheshwara, Kaumari from Skanda or Kartikeya, Varahi from Varaha, Indrani from Indra, and Chamunda who personifies the primordial feminine principle. With continuous evolution of their iconography over the Kushana and the Gupta periods and growing prominence of Skand or Kartikeya who eventually accords the Saptamatrikas the position of being his foster mothers, the Saptamatrikas acquire greater importance in the artistic and spiritual realms. In sculpture, the Matrikas are depicted as nurturing figures with great emotional depth where their weapons symbolize the protective destruction they are capable of. They are usually flanked on either side by Kartikeya and Shiva as Veerabhadra. Interestingly, the Brihat Samhita gives detailed descriptions of how the Matrikas must be sculpted similar to their male counterparts. In Tantra and Shakta philosophy, the Matrikas have assumed a central position as creative energies of Shakti and protectors of Sadhakas. Particularly in the Sri Vidya tradition, they are seen as guardians of the Sri Chakra and remove the obstructions caused by the eight enemies such as anger, delusion, desire and so on for the sadhak who worships them with devotion and seeks to attain the divine. In the yogic tradition, each matrika represents the continuous refinement of a sadhaka's consciousness as he moves from one chakra to the next, finally reaching the sahasrara, whereby he gains the goal of every yogi. Next, we come to a fascinating link between the Saptamatrikas and the evolution of language. Kashmiri Shaiva tradition tells us that the Matrikas are the creative energy that binds all words and symbols together in the form of language. They are the subtle force behind thought and words and we must release ourselves from the bindings of the material realm to recognize the force that supports it all. Lakshmi Tantra, a tantric text, tells us that a matrika is the power of sound in the cosmos and manifests as letters of the alphabet while Shakta tradition links each matrika to each of the seven bijas or seed sounds of the universe. Matrikas are thus both feared and revered. They represent the center point in a tapestry that weaves together the regional and the universal the fearsome and the benevolent, the destroyer and the nurturer, the masculine and the feminine, the artistic and the spiritual, and the creative and sustaining forces. We will look in greater depth at these collective symbolisms as we journey through each of the matrikas in the upcoming videos. Until then, Namaste. <music> Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel.
for our other social media links, more content and to support our work. Please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.